Alright, what's up guys? I'm doing a dip review today. Kind of a review, I guess. I'm going to try to review it. We'll see how much it's a review and how much it's just me bullshitting around. I already got a lip in because I tried to record this a second ago. And I guess I forgot to hit the record button or something because I'm an idiot. But we are reviewing, dipping, Southern Blend, Copenhagen Southern Blend. So I've been on a Southern Blend kick for like two weeks. I cannot stop dipping this stuff. So I'm going to review it. It's first to look at the can. It looks good, just like all Copenhagen cans do. It's kind of brown, goes into yellow. And the sides just, you know, like brown, light brown, gold rim. I think it looks good. The date on this can, which is almost empty now, June 22nd. And today is May something. What's today? May 14th. So not a bad date. Got over a month left on it. So the smell... It's really good. It smells like a. It smells the natural, just natural tobacco flavor, with a little bit of sweetness, but not really like straight sweet. Just like it's hard to explain. Just like sweet tobacco, sweet. Not like Red Man's sweet either, but just sweet. You have to just get a can and smell it to know what I'm talking about. I can't explain it. It's different. But, it's flavor, it tastes pretty much like it smells. It tastes like, a. Uh, everyone says it tastes like sweet tea. I see that, it kind of tastes like sweet tea. Yeah, it's more just, uh, sweet, like, just sweeter flavor to your tobacco. But, like I said, not like straight, but just like sweeter tobacco. It's one of those things you really just gotta try it to know what I'm talking about. It's just sweet. So, I think that if you're uh, wanting to get into like natural dips and stuff, then this would be a good one to start on because it tastes, you got kind of that natural flavor, but not really. It's just kind of mellowed out. Like especially if you like straight dips, you'll probably like Southern Blend. For me, they don't taste like each other really, but they're both sweet. It gives you a good amount of spit whenever it's off. Uh, gives you kind of the, like I'd say, your spit is going to be the color of the can. That's what I think. Just like that. That brown, yellow. How it packs together. It packs together good. It's long cut. Actual long cut. Not like Copenhagen long cut original. It's actually long cut. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. There's some of it on my finger. So you can pinch it fine. And it packs together in the lip fine. It doesn't move around or anything too much. I don't know. I'd compare this to nothing. I don't know. It reminds me of Copenhagen Straight. Copenhagen Natural and kind of Red Man Golden Blend all at the same time. If you threw them all into one, not really. It probably wouldn't taste like this, but that's what it seems like it would taste like. I dropped my mud jug on the concrete yesterday. Getting out of the car, I had too much shit in my hands, dropped it. You can see it's little battle scars. It'll be okay though. It'll live. Mm. Uh, well, I guess that's it. I don't really have much to say. I just wanted to put my two cents in on Copenhagen Southern Blend. Because I like it, and I can't stop dipping it now. So, there it is, for what it's worth. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.